Well, hello, everybody. How you doing? L.A. in the house. We finna talk to you again. It's clear the energy a little bit. I had to get it going. Okay, and also, this is for Sagittarius for the next 72. And if you don't like tarot, <laughs> ain't no sense you dropping off here. Because apparently, if you don't like tarot, why would you even listen to the conversation? It's okay, but I'm sending love and light to you. I hope you send it to me because I'm direct. I got to ask questions. I'm going to put it like, hey, this is L.A. up in these streets. L.A. going to be like this, baby. And we're going to do 72 hours up in this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, this is me every day of the week, my personality. Sometimes my personality turns into something else. But, you know, I don't know a female that don't like to be in charge. <laughs> you know, I just don't. I don't know no female that don't say no. that. Well, it's, you know, I see sugar on it. Okay? And then you don't see it. But I do. Okay. We fin to... Um, talk about it. This is your 72 for my good old Sagittarius in the house. Sag, what's up in the house? We need not you. How y'all doing? Peace out. Peace, love, and share, and subscribe. This is how I am. I ain't, you know, this is my, per this is the way I want to be. Live to be, express myself. You know, um, ain't no need for discriminate because I ain't got time for it. I ain't got no time for that. So, in your moonology for the next 72 hours for you, Sag. You got what going on. It's time to release negativity. In the full moon of Scorpio was the first thing the card that came out. You need to release negativity from your life. It says, Disremember moon. Disremember moon. I can't say some words right. I try, but you know, it is what it is. It says, take time to breathe out. Some of you need to... Breathe out, you know, in, out, you know, take some meditation, you know, start taking a little breathe out lessons, you know, before you react to stuff. Because sometimes we react too fast, you know, like, it's sure grown it, and I want to know what happened, you know what I'm saying? It got real gross. <laughs> Let's see. What's going down with my lovely, fantastic Sagittarius for the next seven weeks? What do they don't see coming that they need to pay attention to? What do my sadness don't see coming? And hello, y'all. What up? L.A. in the house. How you doing? <laughs> it's all gravy up in here. Because I'm going to be me. That's just the way it is. Trick, trick all that fake stuff. That is for the birds. Being fake, I'm tired of being fake. I'm not got time for it. Ain't got time. Okay, Sag, what's going on with you? For the next 72 hours. What's the deal with Sagittarius in the next 72? Look, i tell you what we're going to do. First, we're going to get the Kipper here. Okay, the Kipper. I want, well, first, I got us something to ask. What's, who's coming towards my lovely Sagittarius in the next 72 hours in a relationship? Give us some kind of feedback on what kind of person this could be, spirit, that's coming towards my Sagittarius in the next 72 hours. Give them the what's up, shoulda, woulda, or maybe if they in this relationship already and need to rethink it. <laughs> but what kind of person is in the Sag is life at this time? What kind of person in relationship coming towards them or is already that they're with? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who's coming towards massage and next time? Okay, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. This card came out before. There's somebody very sensitive. They get so sensitive and they codependent because I already pulled this card. This person is very codependent and they are sensitive as all get outs. In other words, you could say it's sugary over here and they'll say it ain't sugary enough. Okay, and if you don't go over there and make sure they got you stir their stuff and it tastes nice and sugary the way it's supposed to, then they're gonna think some type of bit, some type of way, cause they're real sensitive. They feel like, well, you're not gonna take the time out 
to come and love me like I should get. You don't you don't put that time with me. <laughs> you don't show me that love that I need. You know what I'm saying? You too busy, you too ready to run out of the kitchen instead of staying in here and and um doing all the most is warming it up, make sure it's ready, make sure it comes to you and you you got it on the platter, you know, and say, Hey, here you go, baby. Or hey, here you go, sweetheart. You know, that's the kind of person you're looking at. And if you don't do that, they're going to be in their feelings. In their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Be in their feelings like a firecracker on. Like you just lit a doggone firecracker. That's how that sensitive they is. And they wasn't ready. And they wasn't too nice what came out of their mouth. Because they was basically just sensitive. And you popped it off and you like, it was an accident. I don't care. I don't go cackling him. Well, I can't stand a cackling hen. And that's how that person is. So I'm just being real with the energy that I feel. You, That's a cackling hen that ain't got nothing better to do. Talk about the past out there, what you didn't get out them cows, and what you didn't do, and uh, start crying if you get too deep in it because they can't take what you got to say anyway. So either way it goes, that's the situation. Just be quiet. Now, Kipper, what's going on in the next 72 hours? Some of you may be taking a, uh, be trying to find a job, told labor, you've been all in your, you, you, that you can't work, you can't go get your money, you feel like you can't get your labor going, can't get your ideas, you feel like that you just ain't got no job. It ain't turned out the way you expected. So right now, Okay, now I know why it ain't turned out the way you expect, Sag. Because some of you got great fortune, but it's in the reverse. That means it's not came yet. But then also you have, you in bad health, but you, you're you going to come out of that because it's in the reverse. So you're going to come out of that bad health. So, you know, it's just, in, you know, right now, you, you, you're just, you know, that bad health has got you down and this person and right now you can't, you know, but you still got great fortune coming because you're going to be on a journey. Some of y'all is in the reverse because it's a journey coming soon and it came out on reverse. So some is coming soon for you, a journey in the concerning this great money. But you know, in the next 72 hours, just, uh, don't worry about what you can't sugar wood. Cause when you're in bad health, you can't do nothing about that. You have to go with the, the flow, you know. You can't, you know. This is what you don't see. You didn't, you didn't plan to be sick, but it just happened like that, sad, you know. So, don't weigh yourself down too fast in the next seventy-two hours. What else do they need to know, spirit? In the next seventy-two hours that they don't see coming, but you got great fortune. It, it ain't, it ain't over yet. Hold on, let me turn that too many at one time. What else you want to tell them in the next seventy-two hours, spirit? What else you got to tell them? Okay, okay, check this out. But some of you feel like you're trapped and imprisoned in a relationship and you can't get out of because there's certain rules about some relationships that you can't get out of. Some relationships that you can't even get divorced. Some relationships you're stuck in. And so you feel trapped. So it might be somebody going to prison, but I feel like you feel like you're trapped in a situation because you can't get out of it. You can't get out of a relationship with this person. Um... But it's a journey. Someone may be taking a journey soon. Uh, you might get a visitor from somebody from afar in the next 72 hours. Or uh, in regards to this situation that you got going on. Excuse me, y'all. But this thing. See, I speak. You know, I don't like my head. These, sometimes they feel like a helmet. <laughs> I just want you to hear me. But, you know, feel like a helmet on your head. I had that other stuff. It don't work. So, can't do it that way. So, okay. Why is the journey card here for the Sag? Why is the journey card here? But Sag, hold your head up. It'll be all right because, you know, like I said, there's a gift coming to you. Somebody's from a journey going to bring you some kind of gift to try to help you out in the next 72 hours, Sag. So don't feel like you. there's a gift coming your way in the next 72. What else, Spirit? What else do we need to tell my Sag in the next 72 hours they can expect? So expect to give, and maybe some of you in bad health, but it will it will pass. Yeah, because look, mature man, this has got to do with a material, a gift to a mature man. Somebody's going to give you a gift to a mature man. is uh, 
Gonna bring you a gift of some kind for the next 72 hours. And this officially honorable person, too. We got this person that's coming towards you to bring you this gift is very honorable person, noble person. So somebody's gonna come and try to uh be there for you. So don't feel like you're alone, you know, don't feel like did you balance stuff alone? You can't change what's out there. There's a message gonna be coming to you of some kind in the next 72 hours about this person. It's going to arrive. It's going to be like, okay, here we go. Some of you working on your occupation, but it's in reverse because right now you're, you're being sick. But some of you getting messages because there's somebody is watching because somebody is thinking about you because you in somebody's thoughts, Sag, real deep. Somebody watching you from afar. You got to stuck. I don't think they're mean. They're just watching. You know, you got your nice little stalker. Want to know what you're doing, how you're doing. But, you know, like I said, you don't got to stop me. Just pick up the telephone. <laughs> and you need to change your expectations about it. This, They want you to start seeing things in a brighter light about the situation. Start waking up. Yeah, because, see, you ex they want you to see the expectations when it comes to this marriage to this lady. Or this person that a man that you married to. Because this person here, they're... Very disappointing. And you feel trapped in it. You feel like you can't get out of this situation with this person. Because the way I feel is it's someone, somewhere that you obligated that you feel like you can't divorce or you can't get out of it. Yeah, cause you, but you got high honors. Somebody gives you high honors. This official person that, that says um, you get high honors. Anything else we need to tell Sag. So somebody of great... High honors is watching you. It's, they're paying attention. Yeah, but there's going to be a change of residence. Some of you Sagittarius has got to move. You got to take a temporary. I can't live here no more. So I got to go. <laughs> Worst singing ever, ain't it? <laughs> but you on a journey. You're going to be going somewhere. And you just look at it like this. If that marriage ain't worth a freaking two cents of a quarter... Somebody did you a favor. You might not think you got a favor. But yeah. Wealthy man. Yep. Yeah. If somebody is going to be coming to you and they wealthy as heck. They got that money, Sag. They can wrap it and then make a blanket out of it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, they can do extras. They wealthy. They got that. And they got the community to back this wealthy person. They all coming for you. They coming to help you out. Because they know it's going to take a community. And you're starting to see. For yourself. What's going. Who's going to be there and who ain't. But um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Now we're getting to, now we're getting to the good part. Okay. But you also got. Check this out. In the community. People don't like this mature. This privileged lady. Because she going in the courthouse. Somebody finna do some stuff. It finna be some court papers written up. Bye, bye, bye. Because, you know, this person, a lot of people do not care for. I'm telling you, they do not like this chick. Because, you know, so the courts, this might end up going the court away from this person. Because I think this person has abandoned this person. This Sagittarius has got abandoned by some lover in the next 72 hours. And there's a main male involved in it. Yep. Mm-hmm. This privileged lady going through divorce. They got to go to the courthouse because this marriage ain't working out because they don't see eye to eye. So this, whatever happened in this sickness thing, woke Sag up. You know, they're trying to see what the what this person's capable of. And they know if they don't get off and under it, they're going to be stuck in the next 72 hours because this person... This person is basically saying, uh, yeah, check this out, despair. But you're in despair. You're going to come out of despair because it's in the reverse. You know deep down and you knew from the start it was not going to work. You knew. And you, 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 got, you come out of despair because you already knew. You knew what the deal was when you got with this person. This person was lying or telling stories how you want to put it. Bring you back in, take what you got, and when you got sick or you don't, they're not there for you. All they're thinking is, 
you know, do what you do as long as you don't come back to this house. What was I just saying? Yeah, this house. You don't come back to this house. As long as you don't come back to this house, they don't care. Because you don't they don't want you back there. There's something going on with this house. This person is just doesn't want a fool. That I don't care much. Hey, let me tell you something, Sasha. Somebody don't want you. Somebody paying somebody to get rid of you while you're there. If somebody sits there and throw you away and act like you don't exist, why are you there? And check this out. There's going to be a mature woman that's fit to get nothing. She ain't finna to get this house. Mm -mm. Negative, it's in the reverse. She thinks she's finna to get everything. You, you don't do dirt. Let me tell you something. The man upstairs do not like people to be evil to one another. That's just not. You need to find your pathway because they finna come and help you, wake you up a little bit. Sometimes you need to be woke. But it's going to be a sudden wealth once you leave this behind. So you got to leave the garbage behind. But it's a child that affects you with it. There's a child that you worry about that keeps you there. That's what keeps you there. Because... And because you don't want in the poverty in the verse, you're coming out of that, you know. But this person here that you was dealing with, this mature lady, the main female, she's straight thieves. All she's doing is taking your energy and wasting your time. She's stealing from you like, and then you got the family room, and then guess what? She taking to the court because she thinking she finna get paid. But guess what's gonna happen to her? Guess what's gonna happen to her? I don't even got to freaking say it. Let me break it down to you. Message of concern. What you see. What do you think going to happen when you try to treat people like dirt and you think you got something coming? You can be mean because you play the false. False. You need to take the mask off your face because, you know, it's got to do with them lovers. Okay? These lovers here going crazy. That woman, whoever this is, and then concern in the reverse because you you just ain't having it. You coming out of concern. Ain't no concern. It's time to just let go of this courtship. <laughs> Everything balanced out. You know, when people do dirt, mm -mm, it's going to come back to get you. You know what I'm saying? So you don't worry about people that treat you wrong. Because, you know, that's just some people just never learn. I mean, they just never learn. I don't care if you gave, if you gave permission to mess with your life. They ain't going to learn nothing because all they figure is you're going to keep taking it. You know, sometimes you got to see the universe got a way. They'll break you from something. They'll break you that ain't good for you. They know it ain't good, so they got to figure out something to get you away from, you know, the situation because you ain't leaving it. So when you get an illness and somebody throw you to the trash can, Sag, and put you over there and they ready to lock you up, take everything from you, you start to wake up. You're starting to see reality. What is it? You going to be smart or are you going to sit there and let them do you? See, that was the thing. You already knew it. You already knew what was going down. You already knew it was going down. A lot of times we play stupid because we don't want to see what's in front of us. Oh, they wouldn't do that to me. You know, but let me tell you something. Just like this is Ace of Cups in reverse. It's a change going to come. Just like that card said. Change in register. It's going to be something's going to erosion, in uh, instability. Unrequited love, clouded joy, false heart. Somebody didn't love you from the start. It wasn't about love. It was about the money that you brought in. And when you couldn't bring no more money, it's time to go. It's time to get your walking papers and hit the door. You know, Sad, you already know. Sometimes we just don't listen. Then you got the moon card in the reverse. Check this out. But there's minor deceptions and some... Uh, Damage is done and mistakes. Somebody was trying to take advantage of someone in the reverse. Somebody thought, oh, the universe going to let you dog somebody out and, 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 and send them to the, because you can't get divorced or whatever because of the rules of religion or whatever. Let me tell you something. That's a crock of crap. Because in the end of the day, I don't care if any religion make you be with somebody that you know you can't, that y'all not seeing eye to eye. That ain't the religion for me. That's a cult. 
to me. And that's allegedly how I feel about it. So if anybody got something to say, ain't nobody going to tell me to be with somebody that don't care nothing about me, ready to throw me in the nut house, put me where I belong, and they ain't doing nothing. Really? Mm -mm. I'm being honest. That's crazy. I'm not going to sit there in that. Ain't no church. I don't care what church you think it is. And you know what church I'm talking about. It ain't. They don't even call it church. But I'm going to tell you like this. Ain't nobody got the right but the man upstairs to put you in that situation. If it ain't going to work, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? You're going to let somebody die because of your religion beliefs that you can't divorce? Really? So you're going to leave an older, elderly person to handle it on their own and they supposed to stand by you? Uh, no, ain't nobody told you to be foolish. Ain't nobody told you to be foolish. Then you got the four of cups in the reverse. It says you need to get new possibilities, new relationship, new approaches to old to old problems, new acquaintance, new. See, you could be having a new relationship, just prospering, and you with somebody that don't even want you. They don't require love. They don't want. They don't require love to be with. All they want is that paper. Once that paper gone, we disconnect. You know what I'm saying? I'll put you somewhere where I keep getting it. That's all that is. But you know, like I said. You know, the universe, the God, the man upstairs don't like ugly. All down, when you're taking advantage of somebody, it's going to come back on you. What is the karma for this person that's doing this person like this? <laughs> what was I just saying? Eight of Swords, what is the karma? The karma going to be imprisonment. Just what I just said. Hmm. Bad news, sickness, committee, misfortune into. Just because of you being the person on the other end, being selfish. Like I said, this is associated with, you know, an air sign. I can break it. I can't, I can't even make it up. This is eight of scores. It's got to do with an air sign. Got a little bit of a different things. But this person is dominant. They like crisis. They like conflict. And they like, they're going to get misfortune. They gonna end up with the problem that you tried to get rid of somebody because you thought that was right. You got rid of. It. You signed your own warrant. So hey, you did it to yourself. Karma coming to you. You either gonna get imprisonment, conflicts gonna come, and you ain't never gonna have a days of good rest because you did that. The person that did that to you, I'm talking about. They not gonna have good days of rest because of what they're trying to do to you. Sad. Just clarify that. So everybody when we talking about, oh, she's talking about me doing it. No, I ain't talking like that. Let's get that straight because that's not what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's your reading for the next 72. And I wanted to tell you, watch out. You got some snakes and you got some witches that just want to take you to the stitches. And they want to take you to the sticks so they can get rid of yo on the burning fire and send you out. So whether you listen to that message, and that ain't allegedly hurt nobody, that's just a fact. You got snake around you, Sag. And that snake trying every way to get away from you. So if you have to be told again, you're not going to keep making this same mistake. Because the universe, the man upstairs, is going to take care of this. Because some reason, it doesn't get taken care of. Because y'all, you think it's love in it, but it's unrequired love that you got going on. So, therefore, there's a difference between love and unrequired love. That means you you paid and bought for. Just that simple. But anyway, thank y'all for joining me. It's that lay up in the house. And y'all have a good day, Sag. And I pray for you for the next 72. Don't let nobody do you like that. Don't let nobody take your joy, take who you are. Live long as you can. Be peaceful and smile. Keep it up. Keep on the war war and the wee wee out of it. Because that's just the way it is. And... Let me say, bless yourself. God bless you. Peace out. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.